This enlarged region is what is referred to as the hair bulb. This connective tissue that extends into the bulb is referred to as the papilla of the hair. Again, we're using this word papilla. It is going to be the nourishing part of, of the structure that provides the growing part with oxygen and nutrients and removes waste. Uh, right above the hair papilla, you find the matrix of the hair, a single cell layer where you have growth. Here is the growing hair, and the A, B, C would be representing three parts of the hair. The A is indicating this line in the center of the hair. That white line represents where you have a soft keratin, referred to as the medulla. The medulla is a word which means pith. B would represent the next layer, which is making up most of the hair, cortex, which contains tougher, harder keratin. And finally, a C would represent a very thin layer referred to as the cuticle. The internal root sheath is a part of the follicle which is in direct contact with the hair, and it's labeled D right over here in this model, pink in color. So the internal root sheath is a structure which continually grows, and it grows from the hair bulb like the hair, so it would continually be produced right over here and push up towards the upper part of the follicle. If we follow the follicle upward, you can see where the internal root sheath basically disintegrates right over, right over here, right, right near where this aid is. This is going to create a space around the hair shaft. The external root sheath is indicated by this little E. And we can follow this upward. You'll notice that unlike the internal root sheath, which disintegrates and disappears at this point, the external root sheath continues towards the epidermis. Although this model doesn't show it, the external root sheath is actually a continuation of the epidermis. You can see this white line surrounds the external root sheath, and it is also labeled. If you go further up, you can see uh, there is an F that is meant to represent the glassy membrane. The glassy membrane represents a continuation of the basement membrane of the epidermis. The fibrous capsule of the follicle is just a connective tissue that surrounds and supports the whole follicle. You can see it represented here by this material right over here on the outer surface of the glassy membrane. As we go upward, there is a G right over here, which is representing the fibrous capsule.